Recently, NASA has announced that they discovered organic molecules within a 3 billion year old mudstone on Mars. Now, why is this discovery so important? How did they even find these organic molecules? And what does this mean for the future of exploring the red planet? Let's talk about that. So let's begin with talking about why this discovery is so important. But before we mention that, we have to understand what an organic molecule is. The definition is any molecule that is made up of both carbon and hydrogen, and is actually the reason that life forms or humans are called carbon-based life forms. At the smallest level, we are made up of thousands if not millions of these molecules, organic molecules. Things such as carbohydrates, proteins, sugar, all are made up of these organic molecules. So what exactly did NASA discover? Finding an organic molecule doesn't mean that they discovered life, but rather that they found a puzzle piece that could eventually lead to meaning that life once existed on Mars, or that life currently exists on Mars. However, this isn't the first time that NASA discovered organic molecules on Mars. In 2014, the Curiosity rover made a similar discovery in a different location in Gale Crater. So how exactly did the Curiosity rover make this discovery on Mars? Well, it turns out it used an instrument called SAM, or the Sample Analysis at Mars. More specifically, it put these sediments through a process called evolved gas analysis. By raising the temperatures, it turned it into a gaseous form, and by putting light rays through it, it what the chemical makeup of the gas is that we had collected. And by doing so, we could work our way back to determine what exactly those molecules are. Now another great question is how did NASA know that this rock was ancient, or three to three and a half billion years old? Well, they use these processes called radiometric and exposure age dating. Now these work because we know that the galactic cosmic rays cause radiation down to a few meters deep within the Martian regolith. And this radiation can cause some of the elements from within the soil to break down into helium, neon, or argon, which are noble gases. Now by seeing exactly how much of those noble gases exist within the rock itself, we can see exactly how long it's been exposed to these galactic cosmic rays. Now what does this discovery mean for the future expeditions to Mars, whether they be robotic or manned missions? Well, as I mentioned before, discoveries like these act as puzzle pieces, which could potentially mean finding life on Mars. However, the closer we get to finding life, or the fact that life once existed, the more careful we have to be in making sure we don't contaminate that life. That is because if we find out that life had formed on Mars, that could be a biological breakthrough because we could understand how exactly life forms on a different planet, as well as how life could have formed here on Earth. Now how exactly could we make more discoveries like this? Well, as mentioned before, the galactic cosmic rays are theorized to go just a few meters underneath the surface, and those levels of radiation could be deadly to any bacteria that might have formed. Therefore, we would have a better chance of finding larger organic molecules at further depths. Now the Curiosity rover isn't capable of digging that deep. In reality, it's only able to go around 10 centimeters into the soil. However, the up-and-coming ExoMars mission that's going to be launched by the European Space Agency has a goal to try and go down to 2 meters depth, and by doing so we might be able to get larger organic molecules that could potentially lead to making the discovery of life on Mars. If you found this video interesting, be sure to check out my series called The Case for Mars where I discuss all things ranging from rovers and landers all the way to how we could develop a colony on Mars. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.